Hello! Um, I thought I'd share with you some of the things I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks with my students. So if you want to join a lesson, here's what I do for a living in this room, in this very room, and also at Nuffield and at Graves um, and in a workplace. So anyway, here we go. Um, my ethos is to work really gently with the self, to feel the movements pushing up through the bones, to not push, to not strain, to even let go of the word stretching. I don't stretch. I like to flow into things and just to notice that things have released. So I don't grab an ankle, I don't push into anything, which is more that I like to release other things and feel that the muscles are letting go of their own accord. So anyway, here I go. So here we are. Um, So I usually start on the floor doing things like this, usually a bit of a wiggle around, rolling tailbones forwards and backwards, mobilising the spine, we we'll might go then and drop the hips into the floor, left and right, keeping knees standing up. And then we might have a little circle, you can see me circling, I don't really know, but my hips have a nice little circle. And I go the other way. And then what I thought I'd look at doing then is doing something with the shoulders. So try to get these shoulders nice and happy. So I'm going to lay one arm just above my head. I can do this on the mat. So I'm going to head up the ball. The other hand, I go onto my chest and I'm sliding it. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to straighten one leg. So I've just got one leg straight. So this hand sliding across the chest, looking at the hand. I am rolling, and look, I've gone all the way over. Ooh, that's exciting, isn't it? And then this leg that was bent, I'm going to feed it back over and roll back onto my back. And then that hand slides back down, and then I'm going to slide it up an arm, looking at the hand, I'm pressing to the foot, keeping myself rolling, flipping all the way over, and then that foot is really back. Ooh, exciting. Hand comes back. Do that a few times, feeling the movement flow through the bones. And then I'm going to go the other way, so hands are going to, I've got a hoodie on, why am I doing yoga in a hoodie? So hands again, it's just reaching, sliding across, pressing into that foot, turning, and over I go. And then moving back. And slides across, looking, and over I go. Bring the foot back, find the floor, twirling back. And again, doing the other back. And then, I'm going to settle. Bring my knees in. And have a little roll around here for a second. So, Place my hands onto the floor in front of me, walking them forward. I've got a big range of movement, so I find this quite comfortable. But I'm going to make it even more comfortable, so I'm just going to tip that tailbone under, feel myself rise up, place my hands on my knees, and then I'm going to act like a snaky, snaky cobra type thing. Let me just take my jumper off. So, ah, um, yes, cobras. I've been to Marrakesh and these guys do play the little tune things and the cobras are doing this little dance so I'm going to be leading with the heart and thinking of this bit being like that head of the snake. So I'm going to tuck my tailbone under so that's going under I can feel my belly begin to collapse and looking down and then I'm leading with my tailbone and pushing it down and backwards. This is going to bring my pelvis upright. I can feel my heart coming forwards and then I'm going to press my breastbone forwards. Open up those collarbones naturally and then tucking the tailbone under, looking down. And then I'm going to roll up. And now I'm kind of just lifting up, I'm going forwards as well. Sinking down. And then I'm going to come out to the right, so I'm bringing my weight to the right, and then lifting the heart forwards and sinking down. So I'm slightly off centre. And then I'm going to come back and go to the left and do the same thing. And I'm going to sink back. And then I'm going to come down and onto my front. So this 
looks like stink plugs. It kind of is, <coughs> but it kind of isn't. It's another damp and snip. Excuse me. So I'm pushing down through my feet, pushing down through my thighs into the floor, and then pushing down through my elbows, looking to my tummy. My hips are actually lifted off the floor, and tummy's tightened. And then <sighs> do I let it go? Now it comes forwards. Do it again. So pushing down through the shins and the toes, and through my knees, through the elbows, till I open up, and then you don't create that noise, but it's just that sense of relief. Sliding my hands in, I'm going to come up and go all the way back. So I'm going to bring these feet underneath me, and my hands are going behind me, fingers pointing towards my shins, and just letting myself relax. And my spine is slightly rounded, my tummy is a little bit saggier. And then I'm going to press into my hands, tucking that tailbone towards my heel, feel my heart lift. And just doing that again a few times. So some really beautiful kind of almost yawns for all of the spine. And then Hands are going to slide back and into child. And then I'm going to bring these feet round and I'm checking in on my bowl. So hands are going back. And then close back in. So I'm going to place these hands down, grip onto all fours, and I'm now focusing on my toes. What are they doing? I can feel them on the floor. And I want to try and get the balls of my feet onto the floor. So I'm going to let the balls of my feet find the floor and then I'm just going to try and get the rest of my foot to the floor. So I'm actually thinking about my footprints. How can I get my heels into the floor? Well, you can keep the knees bent, that will get the heels to the floor. And then I'm going to think about coming back onto those toes again. So the heels are going to lift, the balls of the feet. You can feel more pressure in the toes. So bringing the knees back to the floor and then here presto, here I am again. So we're lifting the tailbone through into the cat. Cow, cow, woo, woo. Looking down towards the hands, tucking the tailbone and again rolling across and bringing the heels to the floor. So I'm thinking that my heels are not turning into a dog. I'm just exploring how it is to move the feet. So I'm coming onto the toes and then I'm going to come onto the balls of the feet. And then the next part down the foot and then the next part down the foot. And I've found my dog. And again, I'm just going to come back down again. Following that up into my cow pose. Looking down again, ball of the toes. Ball of the toes, it's even a word. And then for my dog, I'm going to stay my dog and see what happens if I were to come onto the heels. I can feel my shins and my thigh bones, I can feel my hips coming forwards. Just going to, in fact, walk my hands forward a little bit. So now I'm going to give it long and I'm coming into this kind of position. And then I'm going to work with my heels. I want to take my heels to the floor. As I bring my heels to the floor, it brings me back into dog. And then coming up onto the toes, feeling that push through the bones. And then I want to go back onto the balls of feet and back. Take my heels to the floor again, up onto the toes. And back again. Sinking down. So here's a juicy bit. So far, so good. There's a bit of standing, but I'm not doing that for you today, I'm staying in the floor. So, tabletop pose, Purvottanasa, I think it's a funny name, think of Purva tables. You say you press into the feet, you lift your hips, and you look down to your knees, and then you bring your knees back. So what would happen if I want to get my knees onto the floor from this position? So I'm going to lift up, and then I'm going to walk my hands in. I want to get my knees onto the floor from this position. I want to keep my hands on the floor, let my knees come to the floor. And then I'm going to roll back over the balls of feet, walk my hands back, and bring the bottom back. We can make this a bit more dynamic. We could start from this position. We could press into the hands, swing the hips back, and roll into it. Oh, forgot to bring my hands with it. And then rolling back. Push your hips back, whee, and again. Or you could do it in that other way, pushing a little bit less 
crazy and actually resting, which leads me to the prettiest of resistance. So three on two back. So moving into something that feels like a bridge, pushing down into feet, feeling the hips begin to lift, pushing forwards with the feet, moving into bridge. Resting here, which is always a good option, but I'm exploring walking my shoulders under the body. So my hands come to my feet. I can feel my bottom coming to my feet, my head sliding. My bottom's at the feet. What would happen if I took my knees to the floor? What would I need to do? I would bring my forehead to the floor and my knees come to the floor. And then to come out, push away. And bring your knees in for a delightful little hug. Ta-da! Something like that. Enjoy.